guys, how's it going? It is me, Megan, and I am back with another video. This video is going to be similar to other ones I've done in the past. I am opening up another thread up box. This one is the fun box and I have not received it before. Uh, sometime last week, uh, May 19th, I decided to get a bunch of rescue boxes from thread up because it was the week of my birthday and I thought I'd test my luck. Originally, I've never really had any interest in the fun box. Um, and from the reviews I saw before I ordered it, they never seemed to be that great. Um, but then once I ordered it, I watched a few more videos and they could be actually really pretty good. Usually these are just uh, boxes that have accessories in them, socks, bras, belts, sunglasses, watches, jewelry, a bunch of random things. I am a little nervous. I really wasn't gonna get this box, but it always sells out, so I figured there must be something good in it. And like I said, I did see a few really good ones. And this box came from Pennsylvania. And this, uh, with shipping, cost $29.99. And there's your receipt on top. And then some of the wrap that my cat might steal. And then the tissue paper. So I'm not gonna look in, I'm gonna just try and grab stuff without looking and make it more fun. All right, so I feel something plastic on top. Oh, these are interesting. Um, it looks like some ribbon. Oh, a tap. Oh. <laughs> the back of these are so weird. My cat's is gonna play with the string in a second. Um, I guess this is some sort of belt. I guess maybe like a bridesmaids something they'd wear these are really quite pretty um but yeah no brand or anything definitely like a little, looking like a handmade thing so so far not so great <laughs> um oh these are fun these are actually quite fun oh they're from j crew that's nice they kind of look like floral wreaths but they're a bunch of really pretty colors oh. <laughs> Wednesday. Ow, Wednesday loves them. Doesn't look like this one's missing any jewels. I don't know if you'd be able to see it, but it do, it does say J. Crew um, on it. I kind of peeked. I'll peek. I'll peek the one thing that I did see because I peeked. <gasps> Wednesday. We got a pair of Old Navy neon pink flip flops. Um, I love this color. This is definitely um, one of my favorite colors. If they fit me, I'll probably keep them. The woman's nine. It's a woman's nine. Okay, oh, this is really cute. It's very dirty, but we got this pretty floral coach. I don't know if you could see it on there. Um, like, wallet. This is all twisted. An ID holder, and if you can't tell, that's like where the dirt is and where it's kind of peeling off. Um, this is a nice card holder in here. All it says on the inside is made in Vietnam. This is definitely like my style. If I, I like keep all my cards like in my phone pocket. So I don't know if I'd use it. I like it a lot, but I don't know if I'd use it. So, so far we've gotten one, two, three, four things. And two of the four things um, I do think I could do something with. Is it fun? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. What is this? Oh, these are kind of fun. Oh, this is cute. This is like a, these definitely feel homemade for sure, but it's like um, a scarf scrunchie. So you put the scrunchie in your hair and then this is the scarf part. And these are like homemade um, like chiffon scrunchies. Oh, these are very, very interesting. They're pretty. They look like flowers. Um, I don't think I could do anything with these. This, even though it's like homemade, I do think I could probably sell it maybe on Mercari. A uh, bra. Okay, good. I was gonna say, a lot of the times I've seen people get bras, they were new with tags, and this one is also new with tags. It is a front clasp bra with like a, a pretty back design. It's really soft. The material, they have cups. Kind of seems like a bigger size, which is good. It's from Adore Me. It's a 34 triple D. Um, I don't know about this brand, but it feels like it's a good material, like a good 
yeah, a good material brand. Again, front clasp, adjust adjustable straps. Now, this is some sort of travel thing. It's like an expandable travel case um, that I think you could also hang. So if you have like a closet in the hotel you're staying in, you could put this on a hanger and put things in it, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know how many more things are in here. Okay, we have some sort of scarf, I want to say. It's a scarf. Uh, it's not really reading on camera. There's stains I can see, um, but it's like a nice neon pink and like um, heathered white stripe with this pretty blue stripe on the side. Is it a good brand? It is Gap, it is one size, and it does have quite a few stains. We got some other sort of oh purse. Oh, this is kind of nice. This is a Nine West um, crossbody. This looks a lot like a Kate Spade purse that I personally own. The inside's pretty clean. There's like one pen mark. It's a nice tan color. It's hard to see. I like these types of purses because they're so easy to like change out and everything. Yeah, it's pretty clean. Two front pockets. And the one a um, little bit bigger pocket. I think this is one. I think this is the last thing. Okay, we have some sort of like beach bag, which is perfect. You know, perfect time for this. Very cute. I love this nautical print. I think it's new with tags. DSW, which is a shoe brand. Um, and then it comes with this like mini version clutch. Uh, inside. That's cute. There's no pockets inside, um, but it has like a nice peach color and it's like nylon. I do think I'd be able to sell that. This is like the perfect little beach bag. All right, and I think that was, oh no, that wasn't the last thing. We have another bra. <laughs> another new tags bra. Um, it was, it's a Vince Camuto bra. Camuto, Camuto. Um, it was originally $14 at TJ Maxx. Um, pretty pink color. New with tags, which is great. Um, size 36B. And it has like Vince Camuto. I don't know how you say that brand um, underneath it. I think there's one last thing in here. Oh, two more things. Oh, I actually got a lot of the stuff in this box. Wait, this is another Adore Me. Oh, it's a matching set. This goes with the bras. It's a size small. These don't look like a size small, but they are a size small. It doesn't look like they've been worn. They at least still have um, the tag on them. All right, and then I think this is the last one. Interesting, it says, surprise, we've included extra items in your package. Spread the love and joy, that's cute. I don't know how many were supposed to be in this. Ten. Ten items. I'll have to count at the end, but I guess they sent me extra ones. That was nice. And I'm actually kind of excited about this one. Um, and I don't think anyone else probably is. I mean, it's a really, really cute, um, like, not style headband. Um, no brand or size or anything, but I am obsessed with headbands. And this is so cute. So I'm definitely going to keep this for myself. A nice little belated birthday present, I guess. So that was actually a pretty good box. Um, I'm happy because they sent me extra things, uh, which is a fun late birthday surprise. Uh, I'll count the items and then I'll let you guys know how many I actually ended up with and how much each one of them cost about. All right, so I got 13 items. I mean, you could count more if you count each one of these, but I'm not gonna do that. 13 items and I don't think I'll be able to sell like three of them, these handmade scrunchies, this belt and the scarf because it's stained. Um, so then I kind of end up with like 10 items, but for the 13 items, you could say each one was about $2.30. And I guess I wouldn't sell this one either because I'm going to keep it. But actually that's a lot better than I thought. Uh, I watched some of these fun boxes and they're really not as fun as they say they are. But I do think um, that I'll do pretty well with the bras. Quite sure how much I'll get for each item, but I definitely think that I could sell them for more than $3 each. So yeah, 
If you guys are interested in any of these items, I have a temporary Poshmark account set up. Uh, it will be linked below. I also have a referral code for ThreadUp and for Poshmark if you are new to either of those. I think they're both for $10. So you can also go ahead and check that out. It'll be in the description below. And yeah, I have more ThreadUp unboxings coming. Uh, two denim ones, and then eventually a woman's mixed clothing box. That one hasn't been sent out yet. Uh, and yeah, if you were wondering, this did take, I ordered it on May 19th and today's the 28th, so it took nine days to get to me. It shipped out within like two days of me buying it, but it took a whole week to get to me. But um, yeah, so I hope you guys are finding new and interesting ways to source items. I hope you guys are staying safe and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.